Hey everyone, it's Hannah, and a bit of a different video once again for you today. I will be doing the Sunkissed Summer Tag. I was tagged by the lovely Mika Chan Sailor to do this tag, so I got all the questions up on my phone. So, let's get started. What is your go-to product for a sun-kissed summer glow? In case you weren't aware, I am pale. It's quite evident. Anything that I put on my body to make me look less pale goes orange. So I tend to avoid anything that will make me go brown. Basically. What book would you recommend for a summer read? Nah, I read a, quite a few books when I was on holiday. I'm a little Kobo, bless him. I read Phantom of the Opera, but that's not a great summer read. But it was good. Very different from the musical. The book that I really enjoyed was Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. If you follow me on Twitter, you might know this. I was tweeting about it while I was away, which is what, a couple of weeks ago now. The annoying thing was the ending. Slightly disappointed, but I'm hoping it's because there's a follow-up. Fingers crossed. But I recommend Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, if you're above the age of 15. Not because of difficulty, but because of content. Yeah. What's your signature summer scent this year? Probably the smell of sun cream. It tends to cover everything. The sun is shining and it's time to get outside. What's your favourite thing to do? I'm really boring. I love sitting out in a very picturesque place reading a really good book. So in Finland, which is where I went on holiday, my boyfriend and I did a lot of sitting by lakes or water or the sea, which is water, and reading, which was wonderful. Because I don't get much time to read at home. So you've got to make the most of it while you're away. That's my theory anyway. You're on the boardwalk when your stomach is grumbling. What's your go-to summer beach food? There's such a thing. I didn't realise there was such a thing as a summer beach food. And I guess the boardwalk is like the seafront. I come from the seaside originally. I'm originally from a little town called Bognoregis, right in the south of England. And the only thing you can get on the beach there is ice cream or fish and chips. Ice cream is my go-to food. It's amazeballs. Sunscreen is important, but it's a must in the summer. What's your favourite? I don't really have a favourite sun cream. As long as it's fi factor 50 plus, I'll wear it. I'm not fussy, but as long as it's the highest factor that you can buy, I will slap that on my body. After a day of summer sun and heat, what do you do to cool off? I have a lukewarm shower and I have a cup of tea. We're British, we do that. When we're sweating like we've never sweated before, we'll have a cup of tea because our parents told us it will cool us down. It doesn't cool you down. It's just quite pleasant. How do you wear your hair in the summer? Down, ponytail, ombre, dip dye, etc. Um, when you've got brightly coloured hair, you want to protect the ends of it from the sun. The sun dries out your hair a lot. So I tend to go with a bun, because then your ends are tucked away, apart from these few straggly bits that are fighting the system. But it, the ends are all tucked away, and you can just slap a ton of hair product on as in nice hair products, not like hairspray and stuff, and your hair can be conditioning. Also, I do like the side plait. You may have seen me with the side plait in a couple of videos. Um, so, side plait also is up there. Quick and easy things, basically. Also, bandanas. I love having bandanas in my hair because the sun fades hair very quickly, very quickly. So, bandanas to cover the hair. Must have nail polish for summer 2014. I don't really have a must have nail polish. I paint my nails all sorts of different colours. Um, but I really like mint green, so probably a mint green shade. Sometimes it just feels good to chill out and watch Netflix. What shows slash movies do you recommend for summer? I recommend Arrested Development is amazing. RuPaul's Drag Race. RuPaul's Drag Race is hilarious for anyone. So I'd probably go with any of those. Orange is the New Black is quite good if you're not watching it with your parents. Or if you're watching it with your parents who are open-minded. I couldn't watch it with mine, I'd feel very uncomfortable. Do you wear liquid foundation, BB cream or tinted moisturiser in the summer? It depends on the occasion, but I don't wear any of them. If I'm going, like I went to my friends, I went to a wedding and I wore foundation, but that's only because it was a wedding and photos. But day to day, I usually just wear sun cream and then I put a little bit of concealer on where it's desperately needed and then just face powder. I don't bother with any of the other stuff. I can't bother. It's too much on your face. Sun cream is heavy enough. It's super bright outside. Do you reach for sunglasses or a hat? Now I've got quite a big head. You might not be able to tell because I'm by myself so there's no comparison but in photos I always have to make sure that someone is very slightly in front of me 
so my head doesn't look twice the size of theirs. So finding a hat to fit this is quite difficult. So I always reach for my Sunny G's. These are them. They're sighted ones as well because I need glasses. Um, I don't wear contact lenses, no, I just choose not to see day to day. And then I wear my sunglasses and everything is all of a sudden in HD. And it's lovely. What is your summer jam this year? Now you may think this is an odd choice, but it's uh, Lonesome Rider by Volbeat. Where have you gone? I've been missing you for far too long. I feel so blue, haven't you heard? I am the lonesome rider, here, the lonesome riders for We heard the song on the radio when we were on holiday, and therefore it is the song of summer 2014. Do you have a summer bucket list? Well, the summer is over, almost, pretty much, in England. So I guess my summer bucket list was to, I don't really know, have a good time on holiday. But there wasn't really anything that I wanted to do because I'm not off work. If I was going to school, it would be the best thing ever because I would be able to want, I'd be able to do things. But I work full time still, even through the summer, which is horrible, especially when you're living with a teacher, which my boyfriend is. And so he's got a nice six weeks off on holiday, and then there's me getting up at 7 a.m. every morning to go to work. Bikini, tankini, or one piece? Show us your fave, fave bathing suit this year. No. I don't like swimwear. Swimwear makes me feel uncomfortable. I lack a look. I, I'm not the most confident person body wise in myself when I'm dressed. I feel fine. But when I'm in something that's skin tight and shows off every lump and bump that I have, I don't feel comfortable. So I don't like swimwear. So regardless of what my swimwear looks like, and it's usually a one piece, I will put a t-shirt over the top of it and go swimming in the t-shirt. It's sad, I know. Summer means heat and sweat. What's your favourite sweat proof product this year? Um, deodorant, antiperspirant deodorant, or I just sweat because it's a natural bodily function. It happens. Summer wouldn't be complete without a scoop or two of ice cream. If you could create your own ice cream flavour, what would it be? Well, most ice cream, ice cream flavours have been created, so I wouldn't create my own. I'd go with a pre-made one. And it would probably be vanilla-based, as vanilla is my fave flavour. Um, I am fascinated to try a chai tea ice cream, though. So maybe I will make that, because we do have an ice cream maker and we do have that power. So maybe I'll make that, and if it's successful, I'll do a video on it. Oh, that's it. Grand. I choose to tag anyone who is watching to do this tag if they would like to because I'm curious and nosy and I like to see what other people do. I post a new video twice a week on a Thursday and on a Sunday so be sure to hit subscribe. It's just down there. You don't want to miss out on any of the fun that we're having over here at the Corner of Craft, do you? No, you don't. Be sure to check out the description for all of the questions and any details that, you know, you think, I think that you might need. And I shall see you on Thursday for my next video. Bye.